Hello all, I am the Holland Phantom and for today's video we're going to be having a live battle from the 2016 format. On one side, we've got the Trevenant Break deck going up against the Greninja Break deck as used by Cody Walensky, the 2016 Masters Division runner-up. So we'll see which of these two decks can take the victory today. But before we begin, I just want to let everyone know that the channel is quickly reaching 1,000 subscribers and we're trying to hit that goal before the end of the year. So if you enjoy the content that we put out, please consider leaving a subscribe, it would really help us a lot. And now with it out of the way, let's get into the battle. And here we go, the battle has started with both players flipping over their starting Pokemon. On the Trevenant side, we've got Phantom as the active Pokemon, and on the Greninja side, we've got Talonflame as the active Pokemon, thanks to its ability Gale Wings. The Trevenant side is going first, activating Battle Compressor to, to discard up to three cards from their deck. And the ones chosen are going to be two Team Flare Grunts and a Headringer as these cards are probably not going to be very useful in this matchup. Another player activates Level Ball to search a deck for Phantom, which comes down onto the bench. So now that they've got two in play. Followed by a supporter, Steven, to search a deck for a Psychic Energy card, and Wally, to be used on the following turn. So there we go. Are we going to be seeing any energy attachments coming down? Yes, yeah, so a Psychic Energy coming down to the active Pokémon. And that's going to be it. Now over to the Greninja side. The player starts off by using their own level ball to search their deck for any Pokemon with 90 HP or fewer, and the one chosen is going to be Froakie this time, coming down to the bench. It's going to be the main attacker of this deck once it evolves. Water Energy comes down to Talonflame, and it attacks with Arrow Blitz, hitting Phantom for 40 damage, and now Talonflame can search their deck for any two cards to add to the player's hand. So there's one card being chosen, and there's the second one. They do not have to reveal to their opponents what those cards are. Back over to the Trevenant side. Speaking of Trevenant, the active Phantom evolves into Trevenant, which activates its ability Forest Curse. So it long, as long as it remains in the active spot, the Greninja player cannot activate any item cards. And now the player activates Wally as her supporter to evolve Trevenant into Trevenant Break, the main Pokemon of this deck. It has more HP and a new attack to be used. And you get the second Psychic Energy. There we go, it's going to be ready to attack now with Silent Fear. Hitting everything on the, opponent's, uh, on the opponent's side for 30 damage. There's the damage coming down. Now back over to the Greninja side. A Splash Energy comes down to the Bench Froakie and then evolves into Froggy Deer. And now the player activates Rough Seas as your stadium. They activate its ability to heal 30 damage off of Froggy Deer. So it's fully refreshed. And now it jumps into the active spot to start attacking. Yes, there's the attack declared, Water Duplicates, and now the player can search for up to three Frogadier from the deck to put directly onto their bench. So there's two, and there's three. And now all four Frogadier are in play, making it a lot easier to evolve into Greninja on the following turn. Back over to the Trevenant side now. The player activates Dimension Valley to replace the Rough Seas. And now the attacks of all Psychic Pokémon cost one colorless energy less. The player activates Crushing Hammer next. It rolls heads to discard the energy card off of Frogadier. A Psychic Energy comes down to the Bench Phantom now. And then the player activates N as their supporter, so both players have to shuffle away their hands to draw one card for each of the remaining prize cards. So it's going to be six cards apiece, as no prizes have been taken yet. So let's see what they got. The Bench Phantom evolves into another Trevenant, and a new Phantom comes down to the bench. There's the attack. Silent Fear hitting everything for 30 damage. So with 5 Pokemon in play, it's going to be hitting for 150 damage in total. Okay, there we go. That's all the damage coming down. Let's see what the Greninja player can do now. The active Frogadier evolves into the first Greninja of the game. And then it gets another Splash Energy. And there's the supporter for the turn, N. Once again, both players shuffle away their hands to draw six cards apiece. So let's see if the player gets another Rough Sea Stadium to replace the Dimension Valley, and more importantly, to heal their water Pokémon. Did they get it? No, they didn't! They go straight for the attack, Moonlight Slash! Bouncing the energy back into their hand to hit for 80 damage. So Trevenant Break is now down to 40 HP remaining. Back over to the Trevenant side now. A Psychic Energy comes down to the Bench Phantom, so getting ready to attack on a future turn. And now the player activates Versus Seeker, searching their discard pile for another Wally to activate. 
And now they once again search their deck for another evolution Pokemon. So it's going to be the third Trevenant coming into play. So just in case the active one gets KO'd, they have two more ready to go. There's the attack, another Silent Fear. Spreading another 30 damage to each of the opposing Pokemon. So all the water Pokemon are at 60 damage. And Talonflame is going to be at 90 damage. So they're all going to be getting pretty close to being KO'd soon. Especially the three Bench Frogadier, they're all down to 30 HP remaining. Okay, the active Greninja evolves into Greninja Break now. And then activates his ability, Giant Water Shuriken. Discarding a Water Energy card from the hand to hit the opposing Trevenant for 60 damage. And that is the first prize taken by Greninja. And then it's still the Greninja's turn, as they did not attack, that was just their ability. Okay, so another Trevenant comes into play. And here comes the Splash Energy coming back down to Greninja. Followed by a supporter, Professor Sycamore, to discard the entire hand to draw seven brand new cards. They really need to draw into more evolution cards or the Rough Sea Stadium, otherwise their Frogadier are going to be getting KO'd. Okay, there's one more evolution coming down. There's the second one. Did they get the last one? No, they didn't. There's the attack. Another Moonlight Slash hitting Trevenant for 80 damage. So if this Trevenant attacks on the following turn, the Frogadier will be getting KO'd. Okay, there's Steven to search their deck for a Psychic Energy and... what else? And an end to be used on a future turn. So with the second energy card, Trevenant will be able to attack with its Tree Slam attack. Okay, there's the energy attachment. And there's Tree Slam hits the... Opposing Greninja Break for 60 damage, and the Talonflame and Frogadier on the bench for 20 damage apiece. So Frogadier is KO'd, meaning that Trevenant takes their first prize now. Both sides are tied, 5 prizes remaining apiece. Okay, back over to the Greninja side now. There's a second Greninja Break coming down into the bench. And the third one, alright, so there's 3 Greninja Break in play now. But the, does the player have water energy to activate their abilities? Okay, they have one to attach to the active Pokemon to attack. But they need basic energy to activate the giant water shuriken. Oh, and it looks like they don't! Greninja Break is going to be retreating to promote Talonflame. And there's the attack. To take the KO against Trevenant, that is, the second prize taken by the Greninja site. And now the player can search their deck for two more cards sat to their hand, probably searching for more water energies to use the giant water shurikens. Okay, there's the final Trevenant coming into the active spot now. The player needs to get more Pokemon on their bench, otherwise if this Trevenant gets KO'd, they will lose the game automatically. Okay, there's another N to shuffle away the player's hands, meaning that both cards that Talonflame got in the previous turn get shuffled away. Okay, let's see what else the Trevenant player got. It evolves into Trevenant and Break now, and there's Super Rod as the item, searching the discard pile for up to three cards. A Psychic Energy, a Phantom, and Trevenant, all to be shoveled back into the deck. But now do they have a way to search these Pokemon back out. Like I said, they need to put more bench Pokemon down. Okay, yeah, there it is. Shaman EX comes down, activating Setup, and now the player can draw cards until they have six cards in their hand. And yes, they drew into a Phantom now. There's the attack, another Silent Fear. So Talonflame is KO'd, and all the Greninja Break take 30 damage apiece. There we go. That's a lot of damage being spread around. So two of the Greninja Break have 90 damage, and the active one has 150 damage, down to just 20 HP remaining. Did the player draw any basic water energies? Okay, yeah, there's one. Giant Water Shuriken takes the KO against the Bench Phantom, so that's three prizes taken by Greninja. Oh, but they didn't have any more to activate even more with Giant Water Shurikens. But they can attack with Moonlight Slash, hitting Trevenant Break for 80 damage. The Trevenant player activates another N, once again, shuffling away both players' hands. Trevenant's going to be drawing four cards, while Greninja only draws three. Psychic Energy comes down to the benched Shaman, 
So just getting it ready to retreat on on a future turn, just in case. There's the attack Silent Fear. So the active uh, Greninja was KO'd, and both of the bench ones take 30 damage apiece. All right, there we go. That's all the damage coming down. Both sides are tied at three prizes remaining. There's another end coming down. Okay, so it looks like the player still does not have any basic water energies. And because they're not able to use any of their item cards, their hands are probably getting clogged up with useless cards. Oh yeah, that's what they got. It looks like there was two um, supporters and an item that they can't use. Still no water energies. The Trevenant player activates another Super Rod, searching the discard pile for Phantom, a Psychic Energy, and Trevenant Break to shuffle back into the deck. So, I think this Greninja is going to be getting KO'd pretty soon. It's got 50 HP remaining, and Trevenant can take the KO with Tree Slam. Okay, there's Phantom coming down, and the player activates Versus Seeker, getting back to the discarded Wally to search their deck for another Trevenant. Okay, now Phantom evolves into Trevenant. Just to keep the string of Trevenant going to keep the item lock. There's the attack. And I believe that was Tree Slam that time. Yeah, Tree Slam to take the KO against Greninja Break. That is four prizes taken by Trevenant. And that's just one more Pokemon left on the Greninja side. There's Professor Sycamore discarding the entire hand to draw seven brand new cards. They need some water energy to activate the ability and to attack. Okay, yeah, there's a giant water shuriken being activated. Hitting the benched Shaman EX for 60 damage. It's down to just 50 HP remaining. And there's the energy attachment to take the KO against Trevin and Break with Moonlight Slash. Both players are down to just two prizes remaining, so if the player takes the KO against Shaman, they win the game. Oh, and speaking of Shaman, it comes into the active spot. It actually just needs one energy to attack with Sky Return to take the KO against Greninja. Is that going to be the play? Versus Seeker searches the discard pile for Steven. Steven to search the deck for... Yeah, the final energy to deal the final attack. There it is, Sky Return. Dealing the final 30 damage to Greninja Break. And now with no Pokemon left on the Greninja side, Trevenant takes the game and... There's the handshake. Trevenant Break is your winner. So what did you guys think of that battle? Let me know down in the comments below. And be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share this video to help this channel grow and reach new viewers. Thanks a lot for watching, and until next time, this is the Holland Phantom logging out.